familiar storyline in San Francisco. Businesses in the once thriving downtown now struggling to survive. A barber shop says it's on its last legs. The owner is going to great lengths to save her business in an area that's filled with empty offices. NBC Bear is Gia Vang with how that barber shop may be the next vacant space. <laughs> Inside this San Francisco barber shop, is if it's going to even be open next week. That's sad to me because it, I think we're losing kind of biodiversity across the culture in SF. David Kwan is a regular. Yeah, five to six weeks. At Blades Co. Barber Shop, its doors open to Columbus with a view of the Trans America Pyramid Building. David works nearby. He's one of what seems to barbershop owner Susan D'Archangelo of just a handful who've returned to the office in the financial district. The quiet on the sidewalks are excruciating for Susan. The saddest thing that I've experienced to watch, to build something and to know that like your passion, your heart, your soul, everything is in it. Everything is lying on this. Susan is trying to sell her personal assets to make the bills she can and pay what she can to the remaining three barbers. Before the pandemic, <laughs> they did more than 100 haircuts a day between seven barbers. Now we're doing anywhere from 15 to 30, maybe 40 if we're lucky on a good day. Remote work has also left commercial buildings in that area empty. In the last quarter of 2023, office building vacancy hit an all-time high, rising upwards of 32% according to the city. Real estate companies have that percentage even higher. Supervisor Matt Dorsey, whose district has had his own challenges with vacant buildings, says voters passing Prop 3 will help. Streamlining and waiving fees for office to residential conversions so that our downtowns aren't so dependent on employment and offices, but there's people who actually live there and go shopping. I'm optimistic that we're coming out of this in the next year or two. But a city report released at the end of February says conversions of office space into housing isn't financially feasible right now and won't close the gap. So as time fades, a Hail Mary for Susan through a GoFundMe. It's probably the last thread to hold on to my business right now. In San Francisco, Gia Vang, NBC, Bay Area News.